podcast. This is where Utopia and the others are so important because they will be insulated from all this as long as you don't sell it. Like if your mayors decide to get rid of Utopia or, you know, in a different case, if a mayor had that option in a different municipal network to get rid of it, that's where the danger will lie um, because they're going to get tons of money for it. You know, like Travis, I don't know, you know, we you were trying to throw like, throwing out like th th uh, 24 times EBITDA, right? Like, like local governments are like, oh, wow, especially, you know, we see interest rates rising, you see potentially economic slowdown, it's going to be really attractive to privatize a, a municipal network or fiber. Um, and then there's already been a dozen city networks that sold fiber networks. Yeah, they, the, the, the offers are too good. Yeah. But I, I think mean, I with know Utopia, they are offering almost every one of them money. So yeah, Utopia is a very different situation because they're all interconnected, right? to separate each of our cities into their own network so in a benefit it's that it's not easy to sell for the residents it's not easy to sell these benefits but it's i have to tell you that, that, would, that would not stop a vulture capitalist from buying the bigger towns i believe me they could fix them they could fix that <clears throat> they could i mean i'm not saying they couldn't but i mean it takes a little bit of somebody with a little bit of creativity to get to that point and a lot of these people want simple deals and just like get rid of it right and and there is a lot of complexity with utopia and our sister agency so it's it's very complex but but like are these when they when we're seeing these cities sell for these like huge dollars what are they looking at just the huge dollars today not what's in the future from 20 years from now they don't care about 20 years from now they're selling for the dollars today yeah.